everyone. Let's make one of my comfort foods. It's a mix between creamy tortellini soup and a lasagna soup. So just a one pot and that's it. So not a lot of dishes, easy cleanup, and it's delicious. So let's get to making it. First, we're gonna brown up some sausage and an onion. So let's do that. Let's get our sausage. So first, we're gonna brown up about a pound of sausage. So about half of this, maybe. This is the big pack. I get the mild Italian sausage. I think it's mild. Yeah. Mild Italian sausage. We're just gonna... I like these a lot more. The sausages instead of the grounded. I find the sausages to be a lot better than the grounded meat that's ready to cook. The Italian one. It takes a little bit extra time and work to take them out of the casing, but I find that they taste a lot better. So I'm going to do about five or six of these. And what I really love about this meal is that it's a one pot. So everything just goes in here and no need to use extra dishes. It's pretty awesome. And it's been so cold outside. I've been craving something like creamy and hot. And I just love. And I'm going to add some ground beef. This is a pound of ground beef. So add that in the pot and I don't have one of those fancy like meat mashers so I'm just going to use the old fashioned spatula to break up my meat and I don't typically use oil if I'm frying uh, pork or sausage because it has its own like natural oils And why I say this is like a mix between like creamy tortellini soup and a lasagna soup is because I make the recipe with Italian sausage and ground beef like the lasagna soup. But I also add, so adding just noodles to this, I'm not really doing tortellini. And I'm also going to add kale and spinach to this. And then it's going to have crushed tomatoes in here and tomato paste. And I did two small onions, you can do one large one. We love onions, so the more the better. One is the Montreal steak seasoning, because it has like a lot of stuff in there. It has like garlic, it has black pepper, salt, onion, paprika. This is all the grease from the meat. And if you want, you can strain that, but there's already flavor in that grease. So I'm not gonna do that. You can if you like. Now I'm going to add about seven cloves of garlic. I'm going to press them into here. So it's about seven cloves of garlic. It smells good already. Eyeball it. Let's do about that much tomato paste. Maybe a little bit more. Now I'm going to add some crushed tomatoes. Or like half a can. We'll add probably the rest of it. We're gonna add some garlic powder to this. Some Italian seasoning. And some more black pepper. Add the whole bottle of chicken broth. I'm gonna do some more chicken broth because we're gonna boil the noodles. So let's do maybe half of another carton. Yeah. About half. I'm gonna do elbow pasta.
I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Put on medium heat. Okay, so it's been a little while. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some heavy cream. This is how it should look like. I just eyeball it. Maybe about half a cup to a cup. Mix it around, see how you like it. I'm gonna add just a little bit more because I like it creamy. I like it really creamy. And you can just taste it and see if the salt is good. I'm gonna check the salt. Now that looks so good. Look at that. Look how creamy that is. And we're not done yet. We're gonna add just a little bit of salt. You can always taste as you go. Let's see what you need to add. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. Not too much. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some Parmesan cheese. So give the salt a good mix. You can add pepper. Yeah, baby. Okay, we're gonna go add a little bit of Parmesan. We'll do about that much. And here I got some kale and then some spinach right there. Some spinach. I got a little bit more kale because I love kale. Now we're gonna give everything a good mix. And it's pretty much done. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Let that boil for about a minute. I'm going to add a little bit more chicken broth. This is the beauty of cooking. You just, no measurements, you add as you go. But yeah, I don't like it too thick. So a little bit more chicken broth because the noodles will soak it up pretty good. All right, come add just a little bit more cheese. Look at that, guys. You just make this to your liking, you know, you don't have to do exactly. I don't have any measurements, I just add as you go. So let's go ahead and serve this up. This is such a comfort meal for me. It's so rich and creamy. Look at that. Pasta heaven. I think that's good. Alright. Next is to enjoy it. I hope you guys make this and try it. Mm. Like, look at that. Hold on. Guys, look at that. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Mm. You guys, please make this. Mm. Please make this soup. This is so good. Mm. This is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Like, look at that. I might go in for seconds. That was delicious. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you liked it, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And please go make this.